Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm buying some more Lululemon. Now guys, if you're a subscriber of the channel, Lululemon is a stock that I have bought now five times. This is the sixth time that I'm buying into Lululemon. I love this company. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why I bought more today. All right, guys, so Lululemon is trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker Lulu, L-U-L-U. -L -U. It's historically been known for its expensive clothing targeted primarily at a select female audience. Investors previously viewed the stock as overvalued due to its high share prices, and the company's current position is significantly different from previous perceptions. So first thing I wanna talk about today is their performance and their valuation currently because that's had a huge effect or a, a huge impact on me as an investor wanting to buy more stock. And guys, if you're enjoying this video, leave a like. It really does help out the channel and I appreciate every single one of you. Lululemon share price peaked guys at over $500 per share in late December last year, 2023. Since, and guys, I've been investing since way before that, so I was a very happy investor. But then, uh, the share price has since dropped nearly 50% from that all-time high, making the stock a lot more affordable. Now, a lot of investors, when they buy a company that they love, and they see such a huge sell-off, 50%, a lot of people would be upset. A lot of people have been hitting me up in the comments. Hey, don't you wish you had that back? Hey, don't you, don't you like hate the fact that you invested in Lululemon? I mean, it's down 50%. Guess what? I'm not upset. I'm not at all upset. Why? Because I, I'm anticipating holding Lululemon for 5, 10, 15 years. Okay? What I'm seeing right now is my one of my favorite stocks just went on sell, and I'm about to buy a whole lot more. The price to earnings PE ratio fell from above 64 to a lot more reasonable 20.3. Here's the thing, guys. I wouldn't be buying more Lululemon today if their PE ratio would not have dropped to 20.3. If their stock wouldn't have come down, I would have had my Lululemon stock and I would have been looking at other companies. But because it's collapsed, I'm like, hey, this is a great company. So what, what affected it? We're gonna talk about it. Their forward PE ratio stands at 18.8, which is a lot more of a fair valuation. And we gotta talk about market conditions. High interest rates, stretch budgets, those could have impacted consumer spending, especially in discretionary sectors like athleisure. But let's look at their financial health because really that's what it all comes down to. But despite economic pressures, Lululemon is actually performing well today. Their net revenue grew by 7% year over year to $2.4 billion. Their international revenue surged by 29% year over year, highlighting a strong global expansion. And I love this, guys. This company, of course, started in the Americas. It's expanding globally. I love to see a company that's trying to go international, and Lululemon is doing that. Their earnings per diluted share increased by 17.5% year over year. Huge. Gross margins improved to, get this, 59.6% gross margins. That's huge. Reflecting strong operational efficiency. I love a company that's riding a tight ship and that's exactly what Lululemon is doing. They opened 10 new company operated stores, bringing their total store count to 721. And they've got guys, this is why I'm investing in the company because they've got a great long-term growth strategy. Now, I'm just gonna give it to you real simply, real basically, five-year growth plan. They started it in 2021, so they're already three years in. They're, this is what they're focused on. They wanted to double the size of their men's business. They wanted to, and guys, I've been to one of the stores. I have, I, I've walked in, I like to go into all the stores of companies that I buy. I go into their store. They've got fantastic customer service. I went in just to check it out because I had invested in the company. Um, I walked out with two pairs of pants because my goodness, is the customer service amazing? The store is, I mean, it's, it's so well run. And guys, the quality of their product is premium and it is so good. 
So they double the size of their men's business, double the size of their digital business, and they want to quadruple their international business. The goal is to achieve revenue of over $12.5 billion by 2026, driven by these three strategic initiatives. So you put it all together, guys, and what do you have? You got Lululemon, once seen as an overvalued luxury brand, it's now a much more fairly valued um, brand after their big stock correction. Company's financial performance remains strong despite external market pressures, and with a clear growth strategy and international expansion, Lululemon is well positioned for long-term success. I'm thinking that we're gonna see another big boost in the stock price at some point in the near future, and I'm buying up as much of the stock as I can in the meantime. So that is why I bought Lululemon this week. Guys, for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. I buy a stock every single week, so subscribe, see what stock I buy every week. And what I try to do is I try to pace it out. So if I bought Lululemon this week, I'm not gonna buy it again at least until probably next month. I almost never buy the same stock twice in the same month. So I've got uh, some favorites, but I'm also trying to add in new stocks. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna see what stocks I just absolutely love and keep, buy keep buying over time over time, month over month, and which stocks I'm adding in because I wanna keep my portfolio fresh. If I ever sell a stock, guys, I'll also make a video on that and tell you why I think that it's time to let that company go. All right, thanks guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.